Hey, I'm just um, taking a break, come up a hill here. I'm here with Roscoe in the Redwoods. And uh, I was thinking back in the old Union days, you know, and I was thinking about uh, having to take people as products of their time and stuff like that and being patient about that. I got involved in the Union and um, at that time it was still, an, uh, it was an old guard that were there. Some of them had walked off the job illegally then, back in the 60s, uh, early 60s. Uh, it might even be late 50s, but I think it was early 60s. And um, and uh, they they got in, they formed a union, and they were the dominant. They were the ones that, that that made it work. But that was beginning to change. And as when I got involved, it was already beginning to change. It was a and women were significantly uh, represented in that younger new force. And, um, but the funny thing was, so I was thinking about this guy, Ray Ahern. He was one of them. He's dead now. He used to, um, he used to have the, the, the grease truck, the, 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 the lube truck, whatever. He would go around to all the jobs and, and, you know, make sure the, the lubrication on the machinery was all right. Probably check the oil, do all that stuff. But and that's what he did. And, um, he was an interesting character, and they 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 fought off this old guard. But the reason I raise him is, you know, we had uh, I myself in 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 the uh, union, and there were others, and we put forward programs. You know, we started to put forward things we should do, and about uh, actually affiliating to Council Fifty Seven, this intermediary body between the national union and and the local, and. Um, the old timers didn't want it, and so we had a war over that. I got, I got a lesson taught me there, and um, but so at, at one time, old Ray put something out. Now he was not an educated man by any means, and uh, uh, but uh, you know he did. He it impressed me that he put down, and it wasn't horrible, nasty stuff like we got from some so-called smart people later, and um, he, he he put forward a little. I wish I could find it a piece of paper, basically a little statement of what he stood for and what he was doing. And it was a political, it was it was a, a good, and it impressed me, and I really respected him for doing that. Anyway, I'm just in the mood for talking about that. That's just a period of my life, you know, lots of people have had experiences, and but they're really, the union one, the workplace struggle, struggle of some sort, are the most rewarding, most exciting. It's nice up here now. <laughs> it's really nice. Hey, it's Richard Mallor again. I'm just following up on a video I, video I put up on uh, Facebook about one of the old timers in my union and when I got involved in my union. And in that video, they, I'm going to keep these short and I'm partially doing it for my own satisfaction and I can leave it for my kids, grandkids. But also I'll, I might do some with Raj and others from my union. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's union history, it's labour history. You'll see the first one, I'll try and put them together, but it's on Facebook, the first one, when I talk about Ray Ahern. But, but, but um, in, in that first one, I mentioned about, um, in the early 80s, we were mandated, my local, to join this Council 57, which is an interim body between the international or the national union, we call them international here, because sometimes they have members in Puerto Rico and Canada and so, stuff like that. And um, and uh, the old timers, they were just you know <clears throat> these are older older blue collar workers. Although AFSCME is predominantly a white collar union, I would think I belong to a blue collar local of it in a water district, a u public utility. There was a white collar AFSCME union there, also that came about in a different way. I think it was an association before. And but anyway, so. When I started to get involved, there was this struggle. We were mandated to join Council 57. This interim body had about 26, 26 locals in it. And uh, us younger ones, and uh, I think Katie was still president at the time. We had a, a woman president, a lesbian, which is very unusual. No, which I'm very proud of that my, my, my blue collar local, even though we had few women in it, uh, um, it was mostly men. Uh, um, we had women played a huge role earlier on in my experience in my lifetime there, and uh, we had two female presidents. One one of them was gay and so forth. So it's, there's great lessons for me that were learned in that union struggle. And so uh, when I mentioned Ray Ahern and this, that, and the other back then, he was one of the original founders. There was a bunch of them: Johnny Young, black dude from um, from the SD1, which was the we called it the ship plant, but it was. Uh, 
they were fairly high paid workers down there. There was Manny Pontus from the meter reading. These were more white collar. I was in the maintenance department, ditch diggers we called ourselves back then for a while. And, um, and so the younger people we felt and I felt just instinctively that it was more important that we affiliate to that, that middle body. I didn't know shit about the trade union bureaucracy, the leadership. I hadn't joined a revolutionary organization at that point. I did later on for a while that really helped me. But uh, um, And then, like most of them, they, they deteriorated when the situation didn't fit for them. And... Um, and uh, so uh, the, us younger ones, we believed you've got to join Council 57. It connects us to the, 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 the wider labour movement. It connects us to AFSME, which was one of the fastest growing, largest union in the countries in the countries at the time. And so we had this battle. And what this battle taught me, I was f pretty brand new. Uh, uh, and uh, I knew I was a worker. I had that that a lot of Americans don't have. But I didn't really go beyond that much. I started to read stuff and about stuff and revolutionary history, got into Russian history and so forth. But so we we we, we wanted to join Council 57. And to the credit, AFSCME didn't interfere too much with us. And it never did for the most, most time. Of course, the times when they should interfere to strengthen the movement, they don't interfere then either. They, they, they interfere by their absence. But anyway, um, so we felt that we fought these old timers. And um, there were, like I say, two or three women. Chris Fisher was involved. Uh, there were a number of people then. There was another woman who was a chief steward. She ended up working for a water company up in Seattle. I forget her name. And um, we had this big battle. And we eventually won that battle. But the old timers knew how to fight. It was old time black folks and old, fine, old time blue collar white folks and Portuguese and Irish and like I say black folks that come up here or their parents came up here to the west coast and to, to, to Oakland area during the freedom train and Kaiser's freedom train and so forth or their parents came up during the war and, um, and so we had this battle but those bloody old timers knew how to fight. And they, what they would do, if that I remember, I could research this, but I'm not going to. It takes a lot of effort and time. But in my memory, was the the, the, the what they used to do was they they'd be they'd get enough people down at the hall to vote against paying the bills, so we couldn't pay our bills. And a union can't function very well; it doesn't pay its bills. Anyway, we had a, an extended battle with them. The younger people won out. I still feel to this day I was on the right side, that we should have been in Council 57, the, that inter intermediary body. Um, I just did not know how the struggle it would take to get them to do anything. They, they were more or less, they took a lot of our money, the old timers were right. Um, and also they, 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 they're uh, like the central labor councils, they're a lot about electing Democrats into office through their union money and so forth. But I think we were right to belong to Council 57. And for the next 20 odd years, 25 years, I attended international conventions. And uh, it, it, we got to a point at which we were running a, for a few years, an, um, an opposition bulletin called the Ask Me Activist in Ask Me. And myself and a few others were brought up on charges uh, for doing that because we used the Ask Me name and they threw them out. But this battle was a great struggle, great lesson for me. From people, like I say, like I've, the earlier video, I'll put them together over time. Uh, Ray had no formal education. I guess he's Irish-American with a name like that. Uh, um, then you had the black guys that came up in the South. They were not formally educated either. My maintenance department, that was among the more militant. And SD1, the crap plant, where all the effluent of the East Bay went into, they were very militant as well. And the meter readers, different type of jobs because they read more. Manny Pontus was one of the leaders from the meter readers and of course it was a job where you had to read more and uh, have a little more white collar aspect to you. But I mean that was a huge struggle. Ask me local 444 in the early part of the 80s. The struggle to be in or not be in District Council 57. And uh, I was on the side of we should join. We won in the end. I still think I'm right, but I understand the I was rightness, but I understand the old timers' reluctance and everything else. But um, and just in case any folks uh, from work want to watch this or any other trade unionists, I'm doing it like I say a lot for myself. Roger will get involved with me, I think, here and there, and maybe Marvin, who we were uh, a team fighting 
uh, on the job. They always used to say we were the, we had it wrapped up. He's Puerto Rican, the uh, Marv's black guy. I'm English fella, uh, white dude. And uh, that's one thing about all oh, you European guys that come over here and different nationalities. It's just white guys over here, okay? Anyway, I'm just following up making this stuff for my own pleasure and uh, anybody else's pleasure that might be interested in it. <laughs>